Hey you guys, so as a quick disclaimer, I am not a nutritionist, personal trainer, cosmetologist, dermatologist, doctor, or any type of medical professional. The video you are about to watch is my experience with a product or service that I have already done my own research on and am attempting at my own risk. If you are going to try this product or service, I fully advise you to do your own research and talk to a professional beforehand. Remember this is trial and error, so each individual person's results may vary. Try at your own risk. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get to the video. Hey you guys, welcome back. So for starters, I just wanted to say I sincerely apologize that we are skipping from my first initial review all the way to um, my one month review. Um, I do apologize that I didn't do the one week check-in and the two week check-in the way I said I would in my first video clip. However, um, I will explain a little bit further into the video um, why I decided to skip both the one week and two week check-in. Um, to make a long story short, I just wasn't really feeling any different or any changes with the maca root, and that's what made me decide to just test the full month through without checking in with you guys. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much. We're just going to go ahead and get into the video and see exactly what this maca root did for me. Okay, you guys, so like I said in the first clip of this video, and like I said a month ago, whenever I first started these macaroon pills, um, there are a lot of benefits that people claim um, when taking macaroon. Um, I believe there was a few, there was a few topics that we had talked about. Um, I'm going to just run through the list. So the first being uh, blood pressure. So, um, like I said before, I've always had pretty steady blood pretty steady blood pressure. It was always just kind of like in the range in which it needed to be. Um, I haven't been to the hospital. I didn't go to the hospital before. I'm, I haven't been to the hospital since then. So I don't exactly know how my blood pressure has changed, but that's just one of the benefits that was said to be with the maca root is that it helps regulate your blood pressure. The next thing I want to talk about is energy and endurance. So throughout my course of taking the macaroon pills, I noticed that there wasn't much of a change in my energy. Um, so the first week I was fine. I was normal. Um, everything was, it was just steady. There was no changes. Um, come the second week, it was almost as if my energy had significant well not even significantly it just started to decrease um i was starting to find it hard for me to stay awake at work i was falling asleep at work as soon as i got home from work i would go to sleep or want to take a nap it was hard for me to get my day-to-day -day chores done it was hard for me to stay focused at work because i was just always tired so um this is it's it's alleged it says even on the bottle um, it's an all natural energizer, but for me personally, I don't, this did not help with my energy or endurance at all. The next thing I want to talk about is my mood. So throughout the month of me taking these pills, um, I didn't really notice a change in my mood. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, a woman, I'm a Gemini. Um, I'm naturally just a moody person. Um, some days are better than other days. Some days are worse than other days. But in general, I think my mood has remained the same throughout the month of me taking these pills. The next thing that I wanna talk about is anxiety and depression. So throughout my month of taking these um, macaroon pills, I noticed that I wasn't really feeling as anxious or depressed as I was prior to taking the pills. Um, I do feel as if this product was great with helping my um, anxiety and depression. I wasn't feeling down. I wasn't feeling uh, sad. Like I wasn't moody. Like I said before, it was it was good at stabilizing my mood, I would say. Okay, so up next is appetite. Now, another thing that I could attest to with this product is that it did increase my appetite. Now, when I say it increased my appetite, it wasn't like a like I was hungry all the time. It was more so like whenever I ate, 
I would just keep on eating. So suppose I had a meal, um, let's say it was lunchtime and I was getting ready to eat lunch. Um, I would finish my lunch, but I, it was almost as if I wouldn't get full from just the one, um, one lunch serving. It's almost as if I just wanted to keep on eating until I felt that I was full. So I'm not sure if that's the way it's intended to work. Um, I'm not sure if that's how um, that's the process into making um, us gain weight or get thicker as um, I am testing them out for. Um, but yeah, it definitely did increase my appetite. It made me want to just eat. Um, and also what I will say is that another good thing is that whenever I was taking these pills, it significantly reduced my urge to eat or to snack, I would say. So I didn't have the urge to go to the store and buy candy and snack on chips and little Debbies and all of those type of things. Whenever I was taking these pills, I was set on full course meals. <laughs> I wanted to eat food, okay? Like I wanted to eat. It wasn't, none of that snacking was going to fly. I wanted breakfast, lunch, and dinner, like I, I wanted to eat. <laughs> okay, so now as for my cycle, I started these pills January 20th, and today is February 20th, and I still haven't had a period. Now, um, that could be, I don't know, you know, every woman is different. Every time we have our cycle, it's different. It's just, I, I really don't know what that could possibly be it could be the pills it could be my birth control it could be my hormones it could be literally anything um so yeah that leads me into libido and fertility which are i believe the last two subjects that i need to cover so as for fertility um i wouldn't know if i'm more fertile i am not pregnant so there's really no way for me to tell that um again i'm also on birth control so Sorry, I cannot really uh, give more information about the fertility aspect of it, but I'm not pregnant, so there's that. Now, as for libido, which is a pretty big deal and something that I really wanted to talk to you guys about, so that's why I saved it for almost last. Um, let me just say, I did not feel any difference in my libido okay which was probably one of the largest letdowns of these pills so um of course i have to go ahead and measure myself at the end uh because i did specifically take these pills to see if maca root makes you thicker but i i wanted to i wanted to have a higher and a stronger libido Okay, I know that I'm already naturally a sexual person. I like sex. I like to, um, I like sex, okay? My family watches this, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. <laughs> um, but I was looking forward to um, just having that increase, just wanting it, seeing if like I'll feel like I want it all the time. And unfortunately, it did not give me a boost. It also didn't like... Um, take away from my libido at all like it's not like I didn't want sex it was just it just kept things kind of neutral like uh not much of a change all right you guys so it's measurement time which is the time I'm sure we were all waiting for I'm going to take my handy dandy tape measure and begin the measurements So first we're going to go ahead and do the bust. Not sure if you guys can see, but that is 43 inches right there. The zero hits the 43. Okay, next is waist. So it looks like my waist is 36 inches. And the last thing that we have to measure is the hips and butt. Okay, and it looks like we have a you guys can see that or right, that's 48 inches all right you guys so here's the last test that we have to do which is a weight test there we go it's set on zero well, let's just hop on there and that says 207.6 
Alrighty. Let's wait for it to clear out for me to do it one more time. And back on we go. Yes, sir. 207.6. All right, you guys. So now that I have checked in and done my measurements and I have looked at my weight. So just to compare and contrast, whenever I first started, um, which was a month ago, I had a 43 inch bust. Now I currently have a 43 inch bust as well. So nothing has changed. Um, I had a 35 inch waist a month ago and now I have a 36 inch waist. So I did gain a little bit around my waist. It was only an inch, so that's not bad. Um, that's not bad if I'm expecting to um, get thick then I guess I should expect the little stomach to come with it. Uh, so the big shocker here is actually my hips and my butt. So a month ago, my hips and butt were 46 inches. Today, they are 48 inches, which means I gained two inches around my hips and ass or sorry, but, um, that's great. That's great. In a month, that's, that's good. And that's what's no exercise, you guys. So I wasn't doing any exercise. So just think if I were to waist train or if I were to do abdominal, um, exercises or even glute workouts throughout my month of trying, I would probably see even more results. So that's, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty dope. Okay. So the last time I checked in with you guys, I had weighed 198.6 pounds. Today I weigh 207.6 pounds. So I have gained nine pounds while taking these macaroon pills. So what I am coming to conclusion is Maca root does make you thick. With my personal experience with it, I didn't gain, um, a, I didn't gain a lot of fat. I didn't bulk up a lot. I actually gained more in the areas that I was looking forward to gaining more. Um, as for my butt and hips, of course, I am excited to say that I gained two inches, uh, which means wider hips or a bigger butt. I'm not sure exactly where the two inches is targeted towards, but I'm glad that I gained most where I wanted it to. Also, um, gaining nine pounds, that's pretty steep. I wasn't expecting that at all. But like I said, um, the macaroon, it definitely did uh, change my appetite and it made me eat more. So um, it's not completely unexpected that I gained so much. It's just, wow, I gained nine pounds. So now, what am I going to pass on to you guys? Um, this is completely trial and error. Um, it's totally up to you if you want to try. Um, you guys seen how it affected me. Um, it didn't really affect much of the, um, like internal, um, the mood, anything like that hormones and all of that seem to just kind of be regular but as for the physical um aspect of it it definitely did change a little bit so again it's really just up to you and if whether or not you want to try it thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified whenever i post my next video i love you guys so much ciao for now